about to see video of a man verbally assaulting an employee at a Southeast Portland gas station. He is in a rage and he racially attacks the worker with ugly and disturbing words. And of course, this incident upsetting many people and angering people in the community has also resulted in an outpouring of support for that gas station worker. Is that how we do things in America, Afghan? Al Qaeda? Osama? Yeah, some of the troubling comments right there. We go now to our Liz Birch joining us live now. And the man in that video has been arrested. Liz, we also understand that he's also being charged with a bias crime. Elizabeth, a couple. We just learned that in the last half hour when he made his first court appearance and those charges were read. We're going to get to that in a moment. Of course, all of this stemming from that Friday night incident. Is that how we do things in America, Afghan? Al-Qaeda? Osama? Huh? Is it? According to court documents, Brian Miller faces first-degree criminal mischief and third-degree robbery charges. A son of an employee at the gas station shared this video with us. Today, I spoke with the vice chair of the Oregon chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. The video was horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. I was beside myself. Today in court, Brian Miller's charges were read, which now include bias crime charges. One count of early first degree, one count of early second degree, disorderly conduct in the second degree, uh, bias crime, bias crime in the second degree, criminal mischief in the second degree, criminal trespass in the second degree, menacing, uh, robbery in the third degree, and theft in the third degree. A family member of an employee sent us a statement about the incident saying, quote, I believe this is an example of white privilege. The guy was released less than 24 hours after it happened with just a slap on the wrist. If the roles were reversed, I think the outcome would have been very different. I asked the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office about the number of bias crimes in our area. They tell me in 2017, 15 cases were issued that involved one count of either crime of intimidation or attempted intimidation. In 2018, 18 cases were issued that involved one count of crime of intimidation or attempted intimidation. In 2019, 35 cases were issued that involved one count of either crime of intimidation, attempted intimidation, bias crime, or attempted bias crime. 2020, 31 of those cases were issued. CARES Vice Chair says there needs to be change in our community. Portland has at every point a chance to be able to turn the chapter and address hate. I also got information from Portland Police about the trends for bias crime specifically in Portland. You can read about that on coin.com. Live in Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.